What's up guys? I uh, just want to sh share some real world uh, use of the 100 watt solar panel that I just installed. So another question for me is I was like, hey, is this going to be enough power? So I installed just one 100 watt Renogy solar panel on the roof and I'm just running off the little kit uh, charge controller there that comes with that Renogy kit. I got it on Amazon warehouse for 130 bucks with the cabling and I'm just stuck because even here in springtime in Virginia, it's able to keep the voltage up on this uh, fridge while, it, while it's cooling down the compressor running, which is obviously when it's drawing all the power. I can't imagine what it'd be like out in the desert. Oh yeah. This is the uh, C55 Alpicool Alp fridge. So it's 55 quart. And uh, so pretty decent size fridge. You see it's just dropping the temp no problem, keeping the voltage up, even with the compressor running. And it's sunny, it's warm today, it's like probably in the 60s at least. So I'm just stoked on that. Obviously I did buy the bag for it. Stoked on the bag too, partly because I was afraid my kids would like climb on it or something. A little padding. It's padding and insulation, so when, see you can see that thing just dropping. And the voltage going up, temps going down. Oh my gosh, just with one 100 watt solar panel. I'm so stoked right now, I should have done this years ago. So the fact that that 100 watt solar panel is keeping this voltage up on this battery, this is not a lithium battery, it's literally an old beat, non-maintenance, non-cared for battery that I have underneath my van. And so if it's working with that, I can't wait to put a real battery on it. So if you're wondering if a 100 watt solar panel will make a difference for you, apparently it will. Check this out. This thing started at 63 degrees. I never turn on my van. I have a super old battery. All right, now we got the uh, cooler down to four degrees. Still holding that voltage. This is the uh, lithium battery I picked up to run my 12 volt fridge off of my newly installed 100 watt energy solar panel and PWM controller. A little cheapy uh, package deal that they're selling on Amazon. Just got home from a five and a half ish hour drive from the Outer Banks and it was warm. And my fridge is only running off the solar panel and one 24 amp hour lithium battery. So this is a 55 quart fridge. Sorry, the thing is cycling. It doesn't actually flicker in real life. It's just a video. There we go. <laughs> that was annoying. So if you're interested in what it takes to run a 55 quart fridge, you can run it off of just one 100 watt panel. And mind you, I kind of purposely did not hook it into the alternator because I wanted to see how it would do. So I ran it for about six days now with no alternator charging, only off the sun. We're in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It was very sunny, very clear, no trees. But we set that thing to about 32, 33 maybe, I said just above freezing, and ran it that way the whole trip. Never turned it off, nothing. And it kept the battery up the whole time. 24 hour, 24 amp hour lithium battery. So if that helps you, that is a functional setup. It would be definitely necessary to connect it to the alternator. If you're gonna be somewhere where there's trees, you know, you're not in full sunlight all the time. So I don't know about that, but if you're out in the open, and mind you, it's April. So it is not even summer. Never had any trouble. Battery, even overnight, the battery was like still showing full. So and then we chart top off during the day, obviously. So got this battery, it's 24 amp hours. And if we time that times that by 12, it is 288 watt hours which helps you compare it so this is 160 bucks on amazon and it's lithium so it's a bit more of course than a you know a walmart deep cycle battery or something but it's supposed to uh you know be able to cycle thousands of times instead of hundreds of times and uh 2000 times with 100 depth of discharge versus what 500 times on a regular deep cycle battery as i understand it and that's a 50 percent dis discharge so there's a lot of people who do solar. I learned a lot from uh, Will Prouse. If you are familiar with him, he can teach everything you need to know about solar. Anyway, long story short, I got this little battery because it was cheap. It was 160 bucks on Amazon. And 24 amp hours for, you know, small applications is probably plenty. And I've been using, you know, this old deep cycle battery I got from O'Reilly like uh, four years ago. So this last trip, I ran it off my, I ran my lights and everything off it while running the fridge off of this. And that was partly for speed. I didn't have much time to hook everything together. Just hooked up the solar panel to the charge controller to the battery it's really all you need and then from the battery i just ran a little uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter off of these posts to my fridge so long story short this thing functioned flawlessly in fact it's still running i'll show you that and i had no problem keeping that thing chilled to 32 degrees throughout my last uh five day camping trip and that was not connected to the alternator that was just off the 100 watt solar panel i think that is the main takeaway from this. So 
you're wondering what it would take to run a 55 quart cold volt fridge, apparently this is enough. <laughs> so for about 320 bucks, you could have solar panel, charge controller, cables, and battery, lithium battery, that are sufficient to run at least a 12 volt fridge. And not to mention other things. In my van, I only have lights. Uh, and then if we're charging phones or lantern or, you know, just simple USB type uh, chargers, that's, that's what we typically use in the van or sometimes uh, coffee grinder. <laughs> but uh, obviously that's not a ton of draw. We're just using it for camping. We're not living in this thing, praise the Lord. 160 bucks for the kit. Uh, Renogy 100 watt panel with the charge controller. And then another 164, 24 amp hour lithium battery. The other advantage is, man, these are so, so small and light compared to uh, typical. Even a, you know, Group 24, which is a pretty small deep cycle battery. Thought that might help anyone who's trying to get into a simple solar setup.